All right, welcome back. Got to do some scientific experimentation today. We're going to see if balance beads actually work. So I'm going to get set up. I'm going to go get my floor jack, check a few things out on this car, and we'll test it, see if we can prove it. Are they good or are they not? Because I've gone either way. I've done plenty of tires. Mostly where we use balance beads was on semi tires. And everybody that I've talked to that works at worked at or works at tire shops they say oh yeah we throw them in semi tires i say do they work i don't know so we're gonna test it here we go all right i've put on my safety glasses because this is science i'm gonna put some stick on weights on this i know these wheels and tires are balanced i've got a spin balancer i've balanced them all this car i've had up to about 115 miles an hour and it is smooth so i'm gonna stick three ounces of weight on this tire this is my front driver's side and my guess is that's gonna make it shake like the space shuttle. So I've got this cleaned off. I'm gonna stick some weights in here and we'll go for a drive and see how bad it shakes. My guess is we probably won't even be able to keep it on the road. But we're gonna stick this on and then we'll know we've got an imbalance. And then we'll come back, we'll put some beads in it. I don't have balance beads, but I do have some BBs for the BB gun. Um, so this is three ounces of imbalance, so we'll know that we need at least three ounces of weight as far as balance beads in the tire. Um, so maybe we'll put, and that, that's the other thing. Can we get away with more? Is more gonna make it worse, better? I don't know. And that's the other thing, without knowing exactly how much imbalance you have to begin with, how, much, how many beads do you put in to you know, correct the issue? Um, the balance beads are more from everything I've seen is for semi trucks, but I don't have any semi tires. So we know this is a balanced tire now. I've put the three ounces on here, so I know I am I have a three inch three ounce imbalance. So we'll go drive it, see how bad it is, and then we'll start playing with the beads, see if we can fix it, get like a proof of concept to see if they're even worth it to put in your tires uh, for tires, semi tires, and bigger tires that you don't want to spin balance and worry about so you can just dump some beads in there see if it's worth your time all right we're pulling out onto the main road now this is a 65 mile an hour road we'll see when this vibration comes on and how bad it is 65 Because that wheel, that tire, I think only had, I think that one only had an ounce and a half on it to get it into balance. Let's see. So 70 is not terrible. I can definitely feel a shimmy in the steering wheel. Nothing that the camera is going to pick up. Let's take it to 80. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, baby, it's there. Ooh. Yeah, it's definitely there. All right, so 60, 65, it's definitely coming in and noticeable. 70, it's noticeable. 80, it's it's pretty good. Definitely know we got an issue. So I'm gonna get turned around. We'll go dismount this. Uh, we'll go pop a bead off and dump some BBs in there, and we'll see if we'll see if it'll take care of that issue for us. So give me a minute. And we'll be back at it. Bug your ears. about half of that I would be willing to bet that that little jug probably weighs 15 ounces 16 ounces maybe so I'm gonna get these and I'll push down in here oh 
baby. I hope you can pick that up on camera. That sounds funny. Anyway. The other question is, if you got all these BBs rolling around in your tires, are you gonna wear the insides of your tires out? I mean, I don't know if it's really gonna matter on your car, but if you're running them in your semi or something where you recap your tires, is it gonna junk your casings? I don't know. we can start to feel it 70 it's very noticeable and 80 <clears throat> I don't think you'd want to drive it very long it gets super annoying at 80 miles an hour and have to deal with that so we'll see if it's changed at all or see if it's any worse at 50 now seems fine hopefully you guys can hear me over the air conditioner it's a pretty toasty day out there today Five mile an hour zone. All right, let's give her the onion. Give her all 140 horsepower on this baby. Give her everything she got. Woo. Okay, there's 65. Seems pretty good. Got one more big bend here. Let's get through this and then we'll give it to it. So far, it feels pretty good. Yeah, there's 70. Can't tell if that's crappy road or shimmy. There's 75. It's definitely better. Uh, especially when I accelerate. I can feel it when I accelerate. Uh, it is better. There's still a vibration though. 75. Especially in this front-wheel drive car, when it's like when the motor torques and you got a wheel out of bounds, it really accentuates. It makes it a lot worse. It's definitely better. I wouldn't call it. You know, we're gonna go out and run the Grand Prix or run on the Autobahn, but it is better. It's definitely noticeably better. But there's still a shimmy in the steering wheel. There's definitely, you can definitely tell it's not balanced. All right. Yeah, I don't know. Kind of works, kind of doesn't work. I mean, at 60, 65, 70, very noticeable vibration, pretty much gone. 80 miles an hour, though, especially on the front of this car, like when you're giving it a wide open throttle. And you've got that engine loaded up it's like that engine torques and before you know it would do this before when i had out of balance tires or cup tires when you would accelerate it would make it a lot worse and 80 miles an hour it's still there a lot better but it's still there so do balance speeds work mm, maybe kind of uh, do i have the right balancer beads i don't know do i need smaller ones i don't it's just questions so Maybe down the road we can do another video where we try different balance speeds or maybe we need to try it on maybe i'll do it on my pickup truck tire that's a bigger tire maybe i don't know there's too many things in the tire world that could be variables on this one so do they work kind of 
Am I gonna use them exclusively? No. So, semi-tire guys, sorry. I don't know if this is a good enough, you know, experiment to see if things work. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next one.